Hi, I'm Bruce Gehring, Superintendent for Dripping Springs ISD, and welcome to my podcast. There are so many incredible things happening in Dripping Springs ISD right now. You're going to see one of those today at Rooster Springs Elementary, but I want to highlight a couple of different things that I noticed in this experience. Look out for the soft skills that our students are talking about as they're involved in this activity. And also look out for where the teacher got this idea from, a personal connection that he made that he brought to the district. Let's go see what they're up to. All right, I'm Ben Reinke, a fifth grade teacher here at Rooster Springs. I teach math and science. Uh, we have, we're working with Auto Auto today, a company that uses programmable cars to teach uh, problem solving, uh, logic, computer programming and the kids are learning how to actually program the car to do things like park or to drive forward or do figure eights or turn left, turn right, go in reverse. So they're learning real world skills that are applicable nowadays as we are seeing cars being able to drive themselves now. So they are looking towards the future and jobs that will be uh, available to them when they're adults. the code that you use for a card. Import card really says, okay car, we're gonna start. Forward means you're going to go forward, right means you're going right, left means you're going left. Reverse is really backwards for this. And then if you do these two lines of code, you can be able to take a picture with your car. And it's really cool that number decides, in the picture one, it decides how many pictures, and these other numbers represent seconds. So we coded the car and put up a little obstacle course so it can go like left and right all the way through um, and try to make it to the very end and then we're going to try to program it to come back to us. And then that's our little marker. Yeah. That was close. Let's stretch this out more and then stretch this out more. original class because you get to do it more hands-on and it's more original. You won't be doing this kind of stuff in regular class and you will be doing it in life. More like in class, you're just learning stuff about what you I learned a lot from coding. I learned that your first code is not anything close to your last code because there's new ideas and you might not get it right the first time, but you keep trying and trying and trying to get the final idea and listening to new ideas. As you can see, a truly incredible activity for our kids. Thanks for a great year of podcasts. We love being out in the district and seeing the incredible things that our kids are doing. Have a great week. Thanks for listening.